What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fish and Grubs. We're out here with Dakota today. We're back here at this pond that we've never fished from shore. Let's get out there. Well folks, Dakota and I had a wretched night. Uh, it got really cold really fast and he lost a freaking giant and uh, I lost my only bite of the night. So yesterday when I woke up, instead of letting the night before kind of eat away at my brain and just kind of be depressed about fishing and all that because we got skunked, um, I was actually thinking about how I could catch my next fish. And the thing is, is I was throwing top water last night and the water temperature is just way too cold. So basically the decision came down to whether or not I was gonna throw Huddleston or burrito and we'll get into that what I really want you to get out of today is that when you get out and you have a bad day you really just got to keep grinding and if it's big baits you're throwing you got to stay dedicated because you never know what's gonna happen what we're gonna do today is just a little bit different I'm gonna cut to um, the next clip and go from there but once we get to the pond I am NOT going to cut until the fish has been caught and uh, we're gonna go over what's going on in my head and uh, how I'm working the bait up until the fish is caught so stay tuned and let's get out there all right folks as you saw last night did not quite pan out for Dakota and I we got skunked I haven't been skunked in quite some time we also only had two hours but that kind of stuff happens man it's uh, that's why we call it fishing what we're doing today is we left one hour earlier than we normally leave the house for work we're gonna see if we can get one fish and make this into a freaking episode for you guys it's tough up here uh when things change as drastically as they did and when i took about a month off from fishing i missed that good month where they start to transition i think and uh, now it's just too darn cold um we're glad that we got that last big fish on the rat we might not get another fish on the rat this year, uh, but we're gonna keep trying with that. We need one fish, folks. That's the name of the game in this episode today. One fish, and we're gonna be pumped. Um, so the thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go to that small pond. The last time I went to the small pond got skunked, so we're either gonna be throwing the burrito or the Huddleston. I'm not sure which one. I, I've been like throwing it around in my head all freaking day. Which one do I want to do? Well, I think the burrito has a better hookup ratio than the Huddleston because the Huddleston's weedless. And I don't think we need weedless at this place. I also would rather not be throwing my burrito that I've never caught a fish on um, from shore. So that's that's the one downfall. It does have an exposed hook. So if it does get caught on something like a giant log or something out there, I ain't going swimming. This one sinks. Let's get out there. All right, folks. So first things first, I grabbed my burrito. That was the final decision. I really wanted to go with the exposed hook uh, because I figured it was going to have a better hookup ratio than having something that was weedless. It's also a touch shorter than the Huddleston, but it is uh, a, a bit taller. So take off the rat, grab our little burrito, do a quick polymer knot. We're throwing this on uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon. So we got some strong line here. We're throwing it on a quantum swim bait rod that my buddy gave me to try out for the season. It's f***ing windy out. Oh my goodness. They took the f***ing things out. The f***ing geese are here. They took the f***ing things out. That's dope. So this is my first cast, and not my first cast ever with this bait, but um, I really 
have never dedicated a session to this bait. I, I threw it out a few times when I first got it just to check the action and stuff. It was midsummer, so I knew it wasn't really going to be the bait to throw. Now that it's fall and the weather has changed completely, I figured uh, this would be the way to go. So again, we got 20 pound braided line, a quantum swim bait rod, and a Shimano Castic reel that we got from Joe down at uh, Granite State Rod and Reel Repair in Nashua. Guys, if you don't know Joe, you gotta get your butts down there and check him out if you are in the area. Joe is the man. So I'm really just trying to figure this bait out right now. As you can see, when I get it to shore here, I kind of see what it looks like when I stop it completely and how it goes down. And that kind of becomes part of my game plan after witnessing what it did, was to kind of just, you know, give it some cranks and, and definitely stop it, because it looks awesome falling straight down. Like, it, it's got crazy good action in the tail. So I'm just slow rolling this thing on the bottom giving it a few cranks. Every once in a while uh, I'll give it a fast crank, but you can see what my line is doing. That's really what you should be paying attention to right now. And that's, you know, what I was paying attention to at the moment. The wind was absolutely insane. I would imagine on a big body of water yesterday uh, it would have been a pain in the arse. But on this, it was just perfect. Uh, probably actually would have been a great day for a spinnerbait in here. Third cast almost all the way to the right side um, of the pond, and uh, we're gonna keep doing that same thing, working it back real slow, letting it drop. Working it back real slow, letting it drop. Giving it a little pop here and there, lift it up a couple times like a jig, because I, you know, saw some stuff about uh, doing that with this bait, basically because it is kind of a giant swim bait jig, almost exactly what those Huddlestons and uh, burritos are. Now right there, oh, I really man. thought I had a bite and to tell you the truth, uh, looking back on it, I really think I actually did have a bite there. Um, it felt very similar to what happens coming up here on this very next cast. So we're taking those three casts that we just did and we're feeling out that last bite. This time we're taking it to the left side of this pond and dragging it back. There's definitely a nice little drop off I put it in the shallows, there's a drop off, and then it obviously comes right back up uh, shallow again where we're standing. Now, the key was I stopped moving. And as soon as I picked that bait back up, that fish loaded up on it. No way. Is that a fish? It is. Oh, holy shit, guys. We got one on the burrito. Stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. That's a giant. That's a giant. Woo! Yeah! That's a stud! Woo! First one on the burrito, baby. Look at that stud. It's probably like three and a half pounds. We gotta get the scale. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
Oh. Woo! Oh my God, folks. All right, let's pop this thing off. Guys, the burrito. I didn't even know I had a fish. Look at the size of the thing. All right, we need to run and get the scale and, get, and then get, get a good release on this thing. Oh man, did we get our first fish or what? All right, let's get the weight. Three, seven, eight. I knew it. I said three and a half. Oh my goodness. Look at that fish, folks. Three and a half pound stud. Awesome. Man, I should have been throwing that burrito all night last night. Peace. Yeah. Oh my God. Awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was absolutely epic. Really couldn't have asked for anything better. Right after that, we fished for a little bit longer and then we had to head down to work a little early, get some prep work done for the bar. Listen, if you enjoyed today's episode, it's something totally different, something I never really do, but if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below what you thought. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that bell if you please. We're going to be trying to put out at least two videos a week. And like I said a lot recently, uh, we're going to want to be going live here soon now that we got the studio set up. I just really want to figure out and have everything perfect before I start doing that. So that's just kind of how I am. Anyways, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fish and Grubs. Fish out!